and I should I should have did this video. Um, yes, I've been drinking wine. Yes, I'm like tired, and it's not even late yet. It's like seven o'clock, right? But it's really dark outside because it's winter time. And I bought the white cashmere thing online, hoping it's like warm and snuggly, wuggly as this. Because I am a cuddly, lovey dovey, affectionate person. Y'all don't even know. I have not been like intimate, romantic, cuddly, snuggly with anyone since I was with my ex. And this is so sad, but true. And I'm not talking about it because I don't want anyone to feel bad for me. I don't want pity or sympathy. Fuck all that. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just like, I am trying to protect myself from getting hurt and getting used and taken advantage of. I just know my worth and I know like I value myself and I don't want to fall for somebody. Yes, the Peru kid that I messed with, I had a great time with, and I did cuddle, 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 and, and I couldn't even sleep. For me, it's so hard to like, be with a stranger that you don't know, and it's it's funny because everybody wants like um to have relations unprotected, and they want this and that, and it's like all that I tried to do with that kid is get to know him, and he got mad at me for trying to get to know him. I got on his nerves, and I was like, well, wait a second. Like, we, we did everything like you know blah blah blah. i don't want to talk about that but as far as i should talk about hair stuff um <laughs> my hair and nails has been growing crazy long like long i talk all the time about bite fusion hair skin and nail gummy i take that it'll get your hair to grow crazy crazy fast and long literally i cut my nails every week and then they're this long again i cut them down to where like the pink is okay not the white the cuticle and the then the follicle your hair has a cuticle ain't that crazy you think it's just in your nail when they push it back but um okay if you can't afford hair skin and nail gummies they're like 11 or 12 dollars from walmart you could always buy the vi vitamin folic acid and the vitamin biotin if you ever drank the carbonated flavored waters the brand is called ice there's sparkling, there's strawberry, kiwi, mango, watermelon, whatever. Like there's like black cherry. There's all these different flavors of those um, ice bottled water. They actually have that as an ingredient, biotin. It's good for your hair, skin, and nails, okay? Your hair and, I mean, your nails and your skin is keratin. So when you see stuff that has keratin, when you see stuff that has collagen, usually it's good. Collagen is like elasticity. Um, I love my Daiche spray. And I put it in my hair. The collagen kind of gives the hair like a bounce or like a stretchy elast elastic. It's like a snapback, you know, like a rubber band. Because uh, we do lots of damage to our stuff and we fry ours, okay? So, bam. Not that anybody cares to know, but like I don't consider myself a great kisser. I always use Burt's Bees. This is the pomegranate one. It's an OG, Burt's Bee pomegranate. And I always use this Carmex. This this watermelon one was a limited edition. And it come out like a lipstick, okay? Lapis de labio. Lapis de labio, okay? So it gives your besos, your besitos. Suavecito. Mojado, okay? I don't know how you say flavor. I think it's sabor, but I could be wrong. Um, I was telling the patient lady about how I grow my hair with the, the gummy or the whatever. And she asked me, like, what should she be using for her hair? And she's a Creole Haitian lady or something. I, I don't know. I don't think she's Jamaican. I think she's something different. But I love Paul Mitchell hair stuff. That, to me, is, like, the OG original. They're usually ahead of the game, ahead of the trends, or just, like, whatever. Um, they have really good, like, neurological technology kind of tools. I have so much Paul Mitchell crap back home brand new still in the box and i'm talking like a blow dryer that was like 220 dollars. i got some flat irons and curling wands that have like interchangeable heads i have a lot of stuff and it's brand new still in the box so i'm gonna try uh move all this down to florida i'm in south florida y'all i still have not been to miami and i badly want to go i had not been to the beach yet since i've been here in florida um but yeah, I do want to get back into the gay scene, make some friends. There's like this little Mexican kid. He's not even Mexican, but like, I don't know. I hung out with this one kid this one time and then I think he tried to steal from me. Like I caught him though, but I don't know for sure or not. And then it's like, I'm skeptical. I don't want to trust that person again. 
And then there's this other kid who's Colombian, I believe, or Ecuador or something. And uh, this other kid, like, he liked me and he acts like crazy, but he doesn't want to date, but he's like super immature. And he's sort of chunky. Not that that's like, not the most important thing ever. And he got braces. Like, ay, Dios, I'm just kidding. The cepillo de diente. Um, but this kid, like, pissed me off a lot. Like, stressed me the f*** out. And his English is, like, really bad. And he went to England to learn how to speak English. He said his parents sent him. Okay. And... Um... Recently, someone asked me, how do I get my teeth so white? They wanted to know what my secret was for whitening. I need to whiten them now. I need to do, I use the Crest bleach, like white strips. I have the one with the UV light bulb. I don't use the light bulb that much. Like I don't use that version. I usually just brush my teeth with Crest or Colgate, whatever I have. Something baking soda, something blue. I use like the 3D white effects a lot. But I have all this like Listerine in there or a uh, blue Crest mouthwash because blue makes the white look more white. And so this uh, Cambodian kid had asked me why are my teeth so white or how and what did I do to get them like that. Mm. And he is like super duper attractive, but like whatever. That's to me looks doesn't even mean anything. But when he asked me like what I did to get my teeth so white, I'm like, I brush my teeth. Don't you do that to yours? But I know that my teeth are white. But also if you go tanning and you get a nice brown tan on, it makes your teeth appear whiter. The same as if I wear red and I have a tan. I look super Italian. Then my teeth look extra white. There's things about like complementary colors and you know tricks with the eyes. Um, on a brown complected person or tan, citrus colors really look sexy. Whether it's pink or orange or yellow or whatever. It could be a salmon color, but whatever the citrus of it is all. So again, me being Mediterranean looking or Tuscany or whatever because I'm always told I look Italian and Greek and sometimes Mexican which I don't see the Mexican but my curly hair definitely confused people I need to put a little man bun on here and go to work with the moño onca um my highlights all grow now and faded and I even talked to you guys about I got my hair done where the porn star works and like I'm like the biggest fan ever for this porn star. And I met this other kid not that long ago who hooked up with that porn star at the hair salon. And I'm like, oh my god, like for real? You go there and get services and you get more than you pay for. I'm just kidding. But that's still kind of funny to me. You probably started to pay. If y'all know how much I paid and I didn't get no freaking services rendered. I got my hair, but I was not, I was impressed with the first day that I got it. But I was like, it wasn't worth it. Anyway, y'all, uh, I like Paul Mitchell. I love Kenra. And I like tea tree or anything menthol and mint. Right now I got the chi version of um, a tea tree shampoo. Because I can really unclog your pores, like your scalp. And as far as me having curly hair, I love me a good Tresemme curly shampoo and conditioner when I'm trying to be cheap. If I want the money to spend, I firmly believe in Diva Curl. However, it is so expensive for small little bottles and it does not lather. So, and you have to have naturally curly hair, obviously, to use Diva Curl. It's not going to give you curly hair if you got straight hair, but it's weird to have something not lather, like a, a shampoo or a soap or something. Because to me, like the lather feels clean. It feels like the foaming is effervescing, getting the dirt, grime, and grut. The greasiness out of it. I'm gonna go, guys. I'll see all y'all later. I'm gonna drink this wine. Go to bed. I still am really curious to try this. This hard candy. This is um a plumping serum gloss. Okay, y'all. Hard candy plumping serum. This one is called Cake Walk. Okay. Biscocho Camino. Or Caminar. I don't know. But it literally... It smells like cake, but it smells more like a jawbreaker that's flavored as cake. Does that make sense? Mmm. Yes, it smells very good. Huele rico. Rico fuave. 
I just really, I bought this, honestly, because they had it at Walmart. But I bought it because I thought it was some, it looked like something Jeffree Star. That's what I thought. I was like, oh my god, they got Jeffree Star at Walmart? And they don't. So, <laughs> my bad. My mistake. Okay. Adios, y'all. I'm going to be going to bed soon. Show me love. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.